All right, so let's talk about demographics as, our, as one of our first issues to discuss in the macro environment. Demographic changes that marketers are concerned about and that will have an impact on, on a business's uh, ability to market include the world population growth, population distribution by age group, and the aging of the population, geographical population shifts. What we do see is a, is, is a general shift out of the Rust Belt states and towards the West and Southwest. More and more people are moving to the South and Southwest. Changes in education levels, changes in the racial and ethnic makeup of, of groups, and then regional shifts within the United States. First, let's take a look at this chart. This chart shows the world population growth uh, and percentages from 1950 to 2050 and the world population by age groups. One of the things you will note on the chart on the left is that by the year 2050, the majority of the population in the world will reside in India, China, and the continent of Africa. Currently, these would be considered developing countries. Second, you'll notice that the age, that the average world population age, it will also be increasing uh, over the next uh, 15 to 20 years. In terms of age, if we take a look at the U.S. population, we tend to break the U.S. population down into generational or age cohorts. The age cohort that many of you have always heard about are called the baby boomers. These were the people who were born right after World War II. Uh, their, their birth dates fall between the years of 1946 and 1964. The easy way to remember this is that 46 and 64 are two numbers transposed. This, of course, is an 18-year group of people, uh, and of course, they represent uh, they represent a boom in in the U.S. population. There's Generation X, those born between 1965 and 1976. There's Generation Y, those born between 1977 and 1994. Uh, we also might refer to those as older millennials. These are the people who came of age at the turn of the century. And then we have the millennials. And the young yet millennials or younger millennials are typically the 18 to 24 year olds, but they might in fact be a little bit younger than that. These are individuals that were born just before or right around the turn of the century. So is generational marketing important? Well, just ask yourself this question. Do you think that you would market to millennials the same way that you market to baby boomers? The answer, of course, is no. They have different wants and needs, and of course, they consume um, communications differently in terms of their sources, the messages, and the tactics. If you take a look at the at this particular um, um, URL, it has a over time look at the shifting U.S. population, indicating, of course, that on the average, the U.S. population is getting older. You can also see those baby boomers, that large group of people born right after World War II, as they move their way through the U.S. population, and now they are becoming uh, retirees. Uh, in terms of demographics, there are a number of family changes. We find that, that in many cases, people are getting married later. They have more dual income households. Uh, many of these folks are called, are called dinks. These are people with dual incomes and no kids. Uh, we see that families now in the U.S. are having fewer children. And of course, the divorce rate in the U.S., while it has leveled out over the last few years, um, continues to be very high. This results in things like blended families and more single parent households. All things that marketers need to be concerned about as they market. What I thought I would do would, was compare the Clark County, that is the Las Vegas Valley, with the rest of the United States so that you get a sense of how Clark County is similar and different to the U.S. population overall. Uh, so let's start with the distribution of um, uh, males and females, gender. You, the, this, this, Clark County and the state of Nevada are, are, are one of two states 
in the in the United States where there are more males living in the state than females. Note that uh, that that the United States overall has, um, while it doesn't look like that big a number, substantially more women than men. Only Alaska and Nevada are the only two states where there are more men than women. Clark County compared to the United States, contrary to popular belief, the average age of the people that live in Clark County is not older than the United States. This is not a retirement community, even though many of you might think that it is. If you take a look at the bottom of this chart, uh, nationally, 13% of the population is over the age of 65. But here in Clark County, it's only 11%. And there's lots of reasons for that. Um, but you'll also notice that, uh, that, that there are fewer 75 to 84-year-olds on a percentage basis and fewer 85-year-olds and over. The median age in Clark County is 1.4 years younger than that of the total United States. In terms of race and ethnicity, Clark County is dramatically different than the United States. Uh, if we take a look at the white non-Hispanic population in Clark County, only 46% of the population is white non-Hispanic compared to 62% of the population in the United States. Here in, in Clark County, according to the U.S. Census, 30% of the population is of Hispanic or Latino origin, where that's only 17% nationally. Um, oddly enough, uh, the, the black African-American population in Clark County is lower than the national average, but the Asian population is almost twice as large as the national average. Partially, of course, that's because um, the Asian immigrants are more likely to have, uh, have come to the U.S. Um, through California, and this is one of those places that they might eventually gravitate to. So as you can see, Clark County is much more diverse than the United States. And in fact, Clark County is truly a melting pot of races and ethnicities uh, and something that those people who are marketing in Southern Nevada need to be aware of and, and respond to. Also compared to the, the Clark County compared to the United States, you'll note that in terms of educational attainment, um, Clark County falls way behind the United States average. For the United States overall, 30% of the U.S. population over the age of 25 has a college degree, but here in Clark County, it's only 23%. That means that there are 30% fewer college graduates per capita in Clark County compared to the United States. That is a substantial difference. So in conclusion, it's important to understand that the shifting local, national, and global demographics have a significant impact on almost everyone's marketing plans.